Guangdong province, a mainland province of China bordering Hong Kong, has recently been hit by a double whammy. Heavy rains have swept through several cities, causing flooding in numerous areas, and people are taking emergency nucleic acid tests in the pouring rain due to a sudden surge of COVID-19 cases on May 31, with 18 new local cases reported. Authorities placed two neighborhoods in Guangzhou under lockdown as a precautionary measure, and two more cases have been reported in the nearby city of Foshan. On June 2, Shenzhen, the nearest city to Hong Kong, also saw some areas go into lockdown. Guangzhou is the capital city of Guangdong province with a population of 15.3 million people. On May 31, Chinese netizens broke the news to overseas Chinese media that internal sources from the Guangzhou medical system revealed that the number of cases in Guangdong province is now growing by more than 200 per day. Starting at 10 p.m. on May 30, people leaving through Guangzhou airport, railway, highway terminal, and other stations must hold a green health code and a certificate of a negative nucleic acid test that had been taken within 72 hours. The outbreak has caused many flights to be cancelled. As of 11.40 on May 31, a total of 519 flights have been cancelled at the Guangzhou Baiyun Airport. According to the Guangzhou Municipal website, on May 31, the city's two major districts are almost entirely shut down. Other communities in the city have started limiting the capacity to 75% for enclosed public entertainment and cultural venues and indoor tourist attractions. Outside of the 38 outbreak districts that are under containment, the city now requires health codes to be shown when taking public transportation, entering restaurants, entertainment venues, indoor cultural and sports venues, various markets, shopping malls, etc. The surge has triggered mass testing in the city's government district. As more neighborhoods are designated to be medium-risk areas, residents rush to get vaccinated, causing a temporary vaccine shortage across the city. Videos on social media show people lining up to get vaccinated, with some poorly behaved individuals fighting and breaking through an iron gate to get ahead at a vaccination site. At one point, testing reagents ran out at some of the sites, angering residents who criticized the authorities for the chaos and poor planning. A resident said, I am not afraid of not being tested, but am afraid of the mass infection caused by gathering for the mass testing. The local authorities reported all locally transmitted cases across two districts in Guangzhou City are infected with the more deadly Indian variant. In Liwan District, the first local case was a 75-year-old woman surnamed Guo. Other cases in the two districts all came into contact with Guo. According to the official announcement, the breakout is related to a dim sum restaurant in Liwan District where Guo and some of the patients dined on the same morning. On May 26, authorities in Guangzhou upgraded the risk rating for one community in Liwan to a medium risk area and ordered all residents in Liwan District, which is about 1.23 million people, to get tested within two days. A large number of residents queued up for testing late into each night. Residents were also notified that all schools were closed. The overnight mass testing was also conducted in the adjacent district, known as the Government District, where the provincial and municipal government buildings are located. The Dim Sum Restaurant and the Confirmed Patients neighborhood are very close to the Government District. A resident said, Many high-ranking officials and military officials live in the district. The situation there is like preparing for an attack from a fierce enemy. By midnight on May 29, Guangzhou, by and large, concluded the first round of expanded COVID-19 screening, conducting 2,252,600 tests in total. As of today, 20 people were found to have been infected, including 19 asymptomatic carriers and one confirmed case. 12 of them are among those who stayed in quarantine because of close contacts. An investigation showed that another 8 people overlapped with the previous positive cases in their activities such as dining out together. 
Starting from May 21, the infected have shown a high similarity with the highly contagious COVID-19 variant first detected in India, according to their genome sequences. Some netizens suspect the officials are covering up the truth. One asked, "How come an elderly woman who stayed in Guangzhou was suddenly infected with the Indian variant?" Another questioned, "Are there unreported chains of infection in Guangzhou?" China's official notification did not disclose critical details such as the source and the chain of the infection. Chinese state media reported that some vaccine sites had already stopped walk-in vaccinations, offering only appointments due to the vaccine shortage. More than 10 million people have been vaccinated in Guangzhou, but the outbreak continues. Residents are doubting the vaccine's effectiveness. Netizens have asked, "How come everyone has been tested after so many have been vaccinated?" In Foshan City, where two cases of infection are officially reported, some areas have been closed to the public, and their local street offices deliver daily necessities to residents. As of June one, eleven cases have been reported in Shenzhen, and officials said the eleven cases are of the British mutant strain B one one seven. According to the report, seven of them are infected despite being inoculated with the vaccine. On June one, Shenzhen Airport issued a notice that, starting from midnight on June two, passengers holding Guangzhou and Foshan ID cards who plan to fly out of Shenzhen Airport are required to produce a green health code and provide a negative nucleic acid test within 72 hours. Several of Shenzhen's busiest retail streets are also shut down, including a large wholesale goods market. Dongguan, a city located between Guangzhou and Shenzhen, has also been affected. Also in May, East China's Anhui Province and Northeast China's Liaoning Province recorded separate outbreaks of COVID-19 cases. The Chinese official media Xinhua News Agency reported on May 29 that more than 600 million people have been vaccinated with domestic vaccines. It is worth noting that the vaccinated population went from 500 million to 600 million in only five days. That is 100 million people vaccinated in just five days. Despite the large-scale vaccination in China, it is not until May 28 that the Chinese government released its first vaccination monitoring report on adverse reactions, stating that 265 million doses of domestic vaccines had been administered by the end of April. Among the abnormal reactions, 188 cases are severe. The report did not mention specific symptoms. It also failed to inform the public that many of those infected had already received two doses of the domestic vaccine earlier. Nor did the report disclose the fatal and mentally impaired cases after vaccination.